104's phone show. We're with you until uh, 1 o'clock tonight. And as always, loads of stuff to get through between now and then. Uh, how we're going to cram it all in, I don't know, but uh, we'll do our best, OK? That's all we can do. We'll do our best to cram it all in. Um, so, let's go. You ready? OK, good. This is the part of the show where anything goes. And we really mean anything. It's Tipping Off Your Chest with Adrian and Jeremy. FM 104. It is indeed. We're here and we're ready to go. If there's something on your mind that you would like to get off your chest, Katie is at the other end of the phone right now on 67971046797104 6797104 is our telephone number. Whatever it is you'd like to get off your chest, well, you can get it off your chest right now. I'm here and he's there. And Anglo-Irish agreement, or Anglo-Irish relations have never been at a lower point, by the way, at the moment. Why is that? It doesn't matter, it's just it's getting nasty now. Why is it getting nasty? It's just it's getting nasty. It's a nasty place. Why, what, what is? Twitter. If you haven't got a Twitter account... Um, you got to get one. No, my, no, my advice would be don't get one. Oh, why? Because you just get a tirade of abuse. I set up a Twitter account, what, about a year ago? Something like that, yeah. And I've never been abused so much in my life as I, <laughs> yeah, as but I you, get it. Yeah, but hang on, you... Um, I know, I do court, court you it. You court it, yeah. Word, and encourage it. But uh, if you're in any way sensitive, um, if you're of a sensitive nature... Yeah. Eh, yeah, someone, someone's slagging me off over wearing a waistcoat and a white shirt. What's up with a waistcoat and a white shirt? Why, where does it say that? No, on Twitter. Oh. The stadium wearing his waistcoat and a... I think I look quite dapper there. Yeah, look. Seriously, though. No. Really? Waistcoat, white. No. Really? Nah. nah. Just for snooker players? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And, <laughs> and waiters, maybe? Waistcoats are for <laughs> snooker players and waiters. Yeah. Really? That's exactly right. You, but you put your finger on it yourself. I think I know. Look at the photograph of me there. Let's see. Retweet yeah. that photograph there, will you? Really? Ah, I'm a handsome boy. Do you not think I look attractive there? <laughs> you look attractive. Anyway, that's my point. If you are going to uh, set up a Twitter account, and Twitter is great and all that, but if you are, you have to be, um, you have to be ready for the abuse that you get. I mean, poor Kim Kardashian gets an awful lot of abuse, doesn't uh, she? Yeah, but she, she loves it. Some of the things that people have been saying about her since the birth of the baby and all that are vile. Yeah, they're fairly vile, are we? Uh, do you think that looks a bit, uh... A red? bit? Do I think it looks it's a bit... The outfit I'm in. Uh, do I think it looks a bit what? I think it looks quite dapper. No, it looks pathetic, actually. Really? Jeans with a waistcoat on, honestly. Yeah. Who, who, who does that? Me. Obviously. Okay, yeah, yeah that's, uh, that's going up on our Twitter now in a second. You can have a look. If you're not already on Twitter, uh, well, get on Twitter. At FM 104 Phone Show is where we are on Twitter. Oh, yeah, I mean, she might. Kira Lambert says to me on Twitter, I deserve abuse on Twitter. Yes, I, I do. I'm not saying that I don't deserve abuse on it, but I'm shutting my Twitter page down. That's it. Gone. Gone, gone, gone. How do you shut Twitter down? Um, I, you can't. You're no, stuck with it forever. No, getting rid of the account. No. Shutting it down. There's no delete button. No, no, I'm gone. Gone from it. I can't be dealing with cyber bullies anymore. Where, Where is it? How do you shut it down? You can't. How do I get rid of it? You, you can't. You wouldn't believe some of the names I've been called on Twitter over the last year, can yeah, you? but you're a dickhead on it. You are a dickhead on it. I am what I am. You get called a dickhead when you are, when you act a dickhead. So I do deserve the abuse that I get. Um. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty yeah. much. Uh, okay, my Twitter page is now gone. No, it's not. I can't get rid of it. How do you get rid of it? Uh, you don't. You're stuck with it for life. Anyway, that photograph of Jeremy in his uh, dapper waistcoat uh, is on our Twitter. Now, FM 104 phone show. Yep, FM 104 phone show is where we are. On, no point uh, looking for mine. Mine is gone. I'm a thing of the past. <laughs> you will never see me on Twitter again. Well, until you're finished the show. Yeah. You couldn't stay off that because you love it. You love ranting and raving. Big fan of it. Yeah, yeah, I'm a big fan of it. Anyway, uh, yeah, have a look at that photograph at FM 104 Phone Show if you want to have a look at our uh, Jeremy in his, in his dapper waistcoat. Now, what's this part of the show called? It's called Get It Off Your Chest. What happens? Uh, you pick up the phone and you get it off your chest. And suppose that they don't want to get something off their chest. Which then we Then we help you. Yeah. Don't we? We do. Sometimes we uh, we suggest things that you might talk about, like this, and it's something we'll come to in a moment, yeah? I want to compile a list today, yeah? Yeah, go on. Of things that you associate with posh people. 
Oh, okay. right, okay. Things you associate with posh people. I was in the bank earlier on. Yeah. Making a withdrawal. Okay, yeah, yeah, Until yeah. Until I saw the sign up on the wall saying no masturbating in the bank. So I didn't make a withdrawal. Go on. No. I'm, I'm not even paying attention to that one. Go on. There's a sperm bank. No, I wasn't in the sperm bank no. today. Is there a sperm bank in Ireland? I don't know. Wouldn't that be great? Although you'd find a lot of wankers in the sperm bank, wouldn't you? Get out of the... No, is there a sperm bank? I, I assume there is somewhere. If I wanted to donate my sperm for money... Who'd have it? Oh, I could take a plenty of girls. You'd walk in, they'd take one look at you and say, uh, not today, sir. I have perfect DNA. Right. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I was, in, I was in the bank earlier on making a withdrawal. Yeah. Uh, and then I saw a sign up at the wall saying, no masturbation allowed. So, have I used that joke already? Yeah, you have, yeah. Recently? Just a second ago. <laughs> really? Yeah. Just give them a bit more time, shouldn't I? Get on with it. And I asked a man standing beside me, because there was no pens. You know when you're filling out the slips for making a withdrawal? You know the way you have to fill out a slip? Yeah, yeah. And put your... Right, who does that nowadays, fills out slips for withdrawals? I do. You should stick your card in the wall. What? Stick no, your card in the machine. It was for a substantial amount of money. Oh, substantial <laughs> amount. Substantial <laughs> amount of money, yes. Oh, 50 quid? <laughs> yeah, 50 quid. Anyway, I was standing in the queue of the bank. Yeah. I set the scene, ladies and gentlemen. There's me standing at the queue of the bank, and I'm trying to fill out the form for making a withdrawal. Okay. And I didn't have a pen. Right. And I asked the, the gentleman standing beside me, um, you don't have, happen to have a pen on you so I can fill out this form? Yeah. And he said, oh, I sure do. I sure do. That's the way he spoke. <laughs> I certainly do. Okay. And he opened his jacket. Opened his jacket. And he pulled out a fountain pen. Who's the fountain pen? Posh people. You know one of these ones with the big, you know like the one Shakespeare used to use? A fountain pen. Is that what it's called? You know that has the, uh, it doesn't have a nib at the end of it. It has one of those, what are they called? A quill. Is that what it's called? I don't know. What's the, the, the posh pen? What's it called? A fountain pen. Is that what it's called? Anyway, he, repla he took out one of those and it was like a Parker uh, fountain pen. I thought that was... That's I can't, uber posh. I can't write with those, can you? No, because they stick on the page and everything. Yeah, I'm not able to, I'm not able to, uh, to write with those. But anyway, it got me thinking. Let's compile a list of things that you only ever associate with, with posh people. That either posh people only ever do... Or posh people only, only ever have. have. Yeah, all right. Like, here's here's another one. Go on. Cravats. Who wears cravats? Gay Byrne. He's the only human being I know that wears a cravat. And he and he does wear one. He does. He wears one all the time. I've seen Gay Byrne in 60 degree heat. <laughs> and he's still, <laughs> he's still wearing a cravat. Write that down. <laughs> cravat, okay. So fountain pens. And uh, cravat. Cravat. Can you think of anything else? Uh, 6797FM104. Let's do the phones live. Let's do that. Let's do the phones live. Okay, we're going to do the phones live right now. So these are things that posh people have or posh people do that, that are uniquely posh. Like, I can, I can safely say I've never owned a fountain pen in my whole life. No, I never have. I've never, I've never owned a pen that you have to dip into ink. No, oh, you're right. right. That's right. very posh, isn't it? It is, yeah. I All mean, right. th 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 this fella that was in the bank, yeah? Yeah. I get the feeling that when he goes home, he writes on parchment and all that. Like he doesn't have regular paper. You reckon, yeah? Okay. Well, I don't know. Here's another thing uh, only posh people have, yeah? Well, hang on, when you're doing that, uh, call us now, 67971104, and if, uh, well, when you ring, you get straight through. So there's no middleman, you get straight through, you're live on the radio. That's how it works. Okay, call us right now, 67971104. Thing, uh, things that only posh people have or posh people do. Um, here's one for you, yeah? Yes. A swimming pool. That is so posh. I know nobody with a swimming pool. Do you? Oh, yeah, people in council estates have swimming pools. Where? When it's a nice day, they bring it out into the... Uh, they bring it out into the garden and they put the water hose into it and they blow it up, the inflatable one. No, 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 that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a real swimming pool. A real, real sw swimming pool. Oh. Yeah? Like, oh, like, who'd have a swimming pool in their house? Somebody very, very posh. I'd love to talk to someone who does have a swimming pool. Um, really? Yeah. You have to be um, very, very, very posh to have a swimming pool. Okay, so I'm writing that down as well, yeah? Yeah. Do you know anyone with a swimming pool? No. No, but I don't know posh people. No, posh people that have nothing to do with you. And are you saying there's people listening to this show tonight that have a swimming pool in their house? I, I'd say there's at least one. I don't believe it. I saw one once when I was on the big wheel in Thunderland. Yeah? Along Marion Road, one of those houses along Marion Road has a swimming pool out the back. Really? Yep. Pompous prick. <laughs> uh, swimming pools. FM 104, hello. How are you? How are you? What's your name? Connor. How are you, Connor? Are you are you posh, Connor? No, I'm not posh like you. Well, I'm not posh. You're not posh? Yeah, I'm posh. 
Anyway, Connor, what, we're talking about things that posh people have or posh people do. People speak posh. Sorry? People speak posh. People who speak posh? Yeah. Well, co- posh people do sound posh, don't they, Jeremy? No, they don't agree. Well, one, 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 one has to agree. One has to agree. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't sound posh at all. No, it doesn't. Um, right, good man, thanks very much. 6797104 is our telephone somebody number. Somebody says, somebody says, somebody says. Somebody says. Somebody says, a brand new car. That's not posh. Nowadays it is. No, it's not. No, if you want money in the lotto, you can have a new car. So yeah. does, can I can I be honest here? Yeah, go on, yeah. Does members of a certain community driving around in new cars? A certain community yeah. driving around in brand new cars, they're not posh. They wouldn't class uh, if, you, if you have a 131 car, you're posh. Seriously, really? in this day, do you have a 131 car? No. No, nor do I. No. I'd love a 131 car. Call us right now, 67971104. Your caller comes straight through to us. We're talking about things that uh, posh people have or posh people do. Okay, that's what we're talking about. So, uh, so far we have fountain pen. Yeah. Cravat. A cravat, yeah. By the way, a cravat, for those of you who don't know, it's a, it's a neck scarf that, that men wear. It's, yeah, it's, it's pathetic looking, yeah. yeah. FM 104, hello. How are you doing? How are you? What's your name, kid? Uh, Deco. How are you, Deck? What's your name, How kid? How are you I felt like saying that. <laughs> uh, now, Deck. Uh, can I just say something? Uh, was there something wrong with the man Connor that was on a minute ago? Uh, right. I don't know. We'll move on. Uh, <laughs> anyway, Deco. Yes, yeah, Chihuahuas. Po- pardon me? Chihuahuas. Chihuahuas? Yeah, little pooches. Posh people have chihuahuas? Yeah, well... Jeremy, do you know anybody with a chihuahua? I don't. No, because they're posh. Oh, I'm writing that down. Oh, are they a posh dog? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Who has one of them? Is uh, there such a thing then, uh, what, what's that man's name, that young man? His name is Deco. How you doing, kid? How was it going? Dad? Well, is there... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Is there such a thing as a uh, a posh dog and a common dog, then, is there? Oh, there is, yeah. Posh dogs are house trained. Yeah, like, uh, you know, rough lads, you always see with pit bulls, don't you? Yeah, you do, yeah. yeah. Oh, but they're my shepherd myself. Yeah, no, they're, yeah, they're common dogs. Uh, Chihuahua is definitely a posh dog. That's oh, hello, Jemima! Here, That's what they're all called. Here, kid, can I ask you a question? Go ahead. What does the, 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 the male uh, pit bull dog say to the female pit bull dog when he meets him on the road? I don't know. I know you want me. You know I want you. <laughs> and then you know what the dog says after that? Uh, Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. <laughs> That's all Pitbull ever says in any of his songs, doesn't he? <laughs> Have you noticed that kid, if you listen to any Pitbull song, he counts to four in every song? Yeah. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. <laughs> anyway, Chihuahua, yeah, that's definitely posh. Well done, Deck. No problem, thanks, Doug. Call us now, 67971104. We're talking about things that are posh, uh, that posh people have or posh people do. Go on, do a pit bull there. Go on, do it the way he does it. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Every song. Yep. Since that he man. Just keeps saying it. Why does he say it, Because you... Okay, mean... pit bull, we get it. You can count to four in Spanish. Yeah. Big whoop de doo <laughs> yeah, You're brilliant. Now, Susan. Oh, wow, that was fast. Hi, guys. How are you? Susan, you have a swimming pool. Well, yes, sweetie, but it's 40 degrees here all the year round. So. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's still a swimming pool. Is it your own swimming pool? Yeah, I'd, ne- I'd never not have a swimming pool. That was one of the criteria when we bought the house. Don't show me anything that doesn't have a pool. Well, according to Joan, who texted in and is, is clearly very classist, she says, people that own swimming pools don't listen to FM 104. Well, here's one here now. So stick that up your hole, Joan. Can I say that to her? <laughs> it's, a bit, it's a bit harsh. Yeah. Okay, stick that up your hoop, Joan. That's a bit better. <laughs> Not really, no. Really? But... Anyway, Hang yeah. on, one last yeah, one. Yeah, Joan, if you're still listening, stick that in your Swiss. That'll do, yeah. That'll do, yeah. Now, so you live in, um, in... Where do you live? Arizona. Sorry, Arizona. Now, Arizona's like in the middle of a desert, isn't it? Yes. Okay, so you live in the middle of a desert. You kind of need a swimming pool. Well, yes, and it's funny because when you're flying, you know, when you're flying, everybody has a pool. Everybody. Now, sorry, Adrian is saying you live in. Adrian is assuming that you live under like a, a, a what you call those trees with all the prickles on them? A cactus. She lives cactus. in a city. She doesn't live under a cactus. Yeah, but it's still a desert. city in the middle of the desert. Yeah, I suppose it is. Oh, you have cacti. Oh, you do? There you go, look! There's bloody cactuses outside their front door! Cacti, yeah. Yeah, I know, whatever. Um, so you have a swimming pool, but are, 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 you, are you posh? Well, I don't think so. No, okay. Well, you listen to this show, so no, probably not, no. Um, no, I can't possibly. I must be some educated, um, uneducated slapper, right? Well, the second part to be true. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jeremy? Yes? 
Jeremy? Yes? I like that picture of you. I think it's a very nice picture. You look handsome. Oh, the picture of me on the internet in my waistcoat. Dapper Dixon, we're calling yeah. him. Dapper Dixon, yeah. Yeah, I, t I told you that when you uh, changed your profile pic out. Here's the thing, Susan. I never say anything nice to you on Twitter, and I said to you, you look nice. It, 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 here's the thing, Susan. A waistcoat on a man always looks sexy. Oh, a waist, waistcoat on? On a man. In my photograph, by the way, that's what they're talking about, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, I'm on my Twitter profile picture. I'm wearing a waistcoat with a shirt. And Adrian says that waistcoats are only for waiters and snooker players. And wankers. And wankers. Yeah. Well, I am a wanker, yeah. so... Okay, yeah. Got that bit. Fair yeah, waiters, uh, snooker players and wankers. Can, can I ask you a question while I have you there, Susan? Of course. A female perspective on this, yeah? What do you think, of, right. what do you think of men with goatees? Oh, sorry, uh, you know, I used to like them when I was younger, but I'm getting a little old for that sort of thing now. The reason, Lan, and I'm sure you know this, Adrian. Well, last I week... I really wish she would shave. Yeah, last week I grew a goatee. Really? And, yeah, I did. Well, I tried to. I tried to. I did. <laughs> that was a dismal try. And, uh, I hey, was, Hang on, I saw you every day last week. I had a bit of one. And on, 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 <laughs> on Saturday, she tur herself turned around to me and she says, that has to go. I thought women found goatees uh, sexy. No. No? Uh, well, yours wasn't much of a goatee if it didn't uh, show up on your face. It was a ginger goatee. Yeah, ridiculous looking. Yeah. Thanks, oh, Susan. Uh, it's lovely to talk to somebody very posh with a swimming pool. All right, bye. bye. Are, you, are you going for a dip now, are you? Oh, I'm at work. I have to wait until I get home. But, well, yeah, we, we've been swimming every day. It's well, having a, swimming here now. having a swimming pool in your house, you must be able to have sex in the swimming pool all the time, I'd imagine. We do. My husband loves to do that. I don't like it very much because it's not very lubricated, you know? Chlorine washes out the... the oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know. Does it wash out your juices, but, chlorine? Uh, he really enjoys it, so... Pardon me? Sorry, does chlorine wash out your juices? Well, yeah, because you have chlorinated water coming up against your... your yeah, your, 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 your... Yeah. And... And then his, you know, is going in me, but it's got water around it, which isn't very lube -y, so. But in the movies, it always but, looks... Know. In the movies, Susan and a couple are making love in the pool, it always looks beautiful. Yeah, but it's not, is what she's saying. Well, he likes it more than I do. But I'm so happy to be getting any at all that I don't even... So are your husband's man juices all in that swimming pool? Uh, never, no, yeah, no, no, no. I'm never going swimming in that swimming pool, yeah. ever. Yeah. Um, thanks, Susan. <laughs> bye, 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 bye. Think There's about that when you're on holidays, Kennedy. Yeah, I don't want to think about it. That you're in that I, swimming pool. I, I, I'm done. I'm over it. Have you ever made love in a swimming pool? No, actually, no. I wonder what it's like. Yeah, okay. I'll try. Anyway, 67971104 is our telephone number. Keep your calls coming in. We're talking about things that are posh. That people uh, that people have or people do that is uh, posh. Call us right now six seven nine seven one zero four. We're back in a moment. Oh, there we are. There we are. You're welcome back. We're talking about things that uh, posh people have or posh people do. Call us right now. 67971104 is our telephone number. FM one zero four. Hello. Hey, Vin. How are you? Grand. Good. Posh people, what do they have or what do they do? They eat stones. They what? <laughs> they eat stones. Yes, they do, Adrian. They eat stones. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a fact that they do. <laughs> and wh where and when have you seen posh people eating stones? No, scones. Oh, scones. scones. Sorry. Oh. Yes, posh people eat scones. So they eat scones. Uh, no, uh, even, even the word itself is posh, a scone. No, they call them scones, so posh people do. They have, they have their scones for a cup of tea. Yes, they do. Afternoon tea is very posh. Yeah. I had a cup of tea this afternoon. I'm as no, no, no. Afternoon tea with uh, with china cups and all that. That's oh, very, china cups. No. Yeah, no, that's no, very, no, very, that's very posh. Yeah, that's very good. Thanks very much. Six seven nine seven one zero four is our telephone number. We're talking about things that posh people have or posh people do. That's what we're doing. Uh, I'm going to write that down. I'm going to write afternoon tea down. Yeah, because that's very posh. With uh, cucumber sandwiches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who eat cucumber sandwiches? Um, yeah, there's, there's two things that never should go together. Cucumber and sandwich? And bread. Yes, it's just, it's, it's, it's just morally wrong. FM 104, hello. <laughs> hello? Hello. How are you? How's it going? Now, things that posh people have or posh people do. They wear a duvet. Sorry? They have a duvet. <laughs> What's ah, wrong no. with your phone? Your phone no. is in bits there, mister. They wear duvets. Yeah. They wear duvets. They wear dewberries. Oh, dewberries. Yes. Oh, dubs on their feet. 
Yeah. Are people still wearing them? Some, yeah, oh, it's, go, it's gone back to posh people wearing them. I haven't seen them shoes in years. Yeah, posh people wear dubs, they do. They uh, do. Back, they, back in... Back in the day, everyone was wearing them, yeah? Yeah, yeah. But now it's gone back to uh, the way it used to be, that it's only posh people wearing dubs. Really? Okay, I'm going to write them down. Dubs, yep. Okay, so here's what we have so far. A cravat, a fountain pen, a swimming pool, a chihuahua, afternoon tea, and dubs. Uh, FM 104, hello. Who are you? How are you? What's your name, kid? Joe. How are you, Joe? Well, Adrian, he sounds about a hundred, so why are you calling <laughs> him kid? You make him feel good. Um, now, Joe, things that posh people have or posh people do. They go fox hunting, hunting for foxes. That's very posh, isn't it? <laughs> it's extremely posh. Jeremy, do you ever go fox hunting? Can I ask a question? Yeah, stop, go on. stop the music for, yeah. for a second, please. Stop everything. Yes, 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 everything stopped. It's just yeah. a, a query, really. Go on. More than anything. How in this day and age of modern technology can you get a phone signal that bad in Ireland? <laughs> ask that man what network he's on. What network are you on? It's a landline, that is. That's a landline? A landline? Yeah. Jeez, Who really has landlines <laughs> nowadays? Uh, loads of people do. For Every their... day of the week, UPC are ringing me up, do you need a landline phone? And I'm saying to them, no. Why would, I, why would anybody want a landline phone? The only reason you have to have a landline now is, uh, well, no, the, the people have a landline now is for broadband, that's all. Yeah, that's it. That's yeah. the only reason people have it. And do people ever ring you on the landline? No. No. I know my mother, um, God rest her. Oh, no, she's not dead. <laughs> An awful thing to Sorry, say about your mother. It, no, I didn't mean it that way. My mother, <laughs> God, I mean, God bless her. God bless. My mother, God bless her, has a landline in the house, and any time I'm over there, the phone has never run. <laughs> no, nobody never, rings. Nobody rings landlines. No, they don't. Don't. No. Um, uh, anyway, sorry. What? What was it you said again? They go uh, fox hunting. Oh, fox! Uh, fox hunting is terribly posh, isn't I it? I have another word for someone that goes fox hunting. Yeah. Go on. Wankers. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I can't stand people who do that. Yeah, fuck something. No, I no. would. I swear to God. That, would you tell me where to go. Just point me in the right direction. The fox hunting is definitely very posh. Keep them, call, keep them coming in. the fox hunt. Where is it? Where's the next fox hunt? I haven't a clue. How would I know? Is fox hunting not banned in Ireland? Um, no, no, I'll tell you, back in the day, you and I chased a few foxes, really? didn't we? <laughs> didn't we? Remember those <laughs> days? <laughs> um, now, keep them coming in. 67971104. Things that posh people have, or posh people do. FM 104, hello. Hi, how are you? What's your name, kid? David. How are you, David? Um, they do fencing. Do you know fencing with little swords? They do. Crossing swords, yeah. Hang on, I'm going to write that down. Fencing. I, uh, believe it or not, I drove past a gym the other day, yeah? And I couldn't believe there was people in there fencing. Which gym? Oh, around the, the corner here. Going Jim McCabe. No, they're just around the corner here. Jim Cor. And there they were in the gym and they were fencing. Really? Fencing? It's, it's very posh, isn't it? It is. Yes, I don't know. Do, what's your name, kid? David. He's David, already said that. There's something that just doesn't sit with me, two men uh, rubbing swords in a room together. It's just, it's, it's, it's not for me. Uh, no, well, maybe it's not. It's very posh. And when two men rub swords, one of them could get their eye taken out. Another one is playing bowls. Yes, bowls. B-O-W-L-S. I'll write that down. Yeah, that's definitely on the posh list. Things that posh people have or posh people do. Call us right now What's very bowls, quickly. by the way? Bowls, like, um... There used to be, uh... It's not there anymore. There used to be a bowling alley in Bray, but not the bowling alley. A bowls place, yeah? There's a bowling alley in Bray. No, bowls. Outdoor bowls. What? That doesn't matter. Now, you, what's bowls? That's exactly what it says. Bowls. You, you fight ball. Oh, the jack. The jack, yeah. So you do know what it is. FM 104, hello. How's it going? What's your name, kid? Oh. How are you, Paul? Not too bad. Now, Paul, oh. uh, things that posh people have or posh people do? Pulling polo with their horses. Oh, yeah, that, I mean, that's about as posh as it gets, isn't so it? What, what did he say? Polo. Playing polo with your horse. And I, I seen kids up in Valley Fairman on their horses kicking footballs around the East No, it's not the same thing as polo. Oh, isn't it? With a big, long stick, yeah. They don't drive a Land Rover Jeep. Yeah, exactly. People who um, people who play bowl or uh, who play polo arrive in their uh, Land Rover Jeep. They do. Yeah, that's very posh. Good man. Uh, mind you, Land Rover Jeeps aren't as posh as they used to be at one stage. Uh, they are fairly. Yeah, they're, they're posh. Oh no, they are. Your woman has one. Yeah, sit posh. Not more than dressed as lamb. <laughs> FM 104. Hello. Oh, that person's gone. Okay. Uh, we're talking about things that are posh. Okay. Things that are posh, either posh people have or posh people do. FM 104, hello. Uh, uh, no, I Sorry, can you speak into your phone there? Uh, uh, one of the basic skills of using this thing is speaking into it. Yes, I'm speaking into it. Hello. Yes, 
Hello. What are you doing? I'm talking into myself. <laughs> Not doing it very well. You're talking into the arse of it. The person's gone. Uh, FM 104, hello. Hello? You see this person here that's on the hello, hello. At the moment, yeah? Hello. Yeah. Hello, how are you? I'm good. What's your name, kid? My name is Wendy. How are you, Wendy? I'm very well, thank you. Are, are you posh, Wendy? Um, I wouldn't say so, no. Okay. I, I would. Compared to some of the yokes that ring the show, you're very posh. <laughs> Stop it. She is, though, Furnace. Now, Wendy, things that posh people have or posh people do. I'd say posh people have both, sir, yes. They certainly do. I'm writing that down. You, dr you drive past, uh, like, the marina in Malahide, yeah? That's it, yeah. And, and there's still loads of big posh boats. And yachts. Indeed, yeah. Okay, no, I'm writing that down. People are posh if they have a yacht. Jeremy, have you got a yacht? Um, Fire the one in your bath. I don't have a yacht. No, you no, don't, no. no. Yeah, yeah, yachts, yachts are very posh. Thank you. Can I say one little thing quickly? You can, of course. Can I just say thanks to FM 104 for my tickets for Bon Jovi on Saturday? Oh, did you enjoy it? I did, I had a ball. Jeez, I wouldn't be thanking us. What are you saying I've never listened to this radio? Give it, send her off to Bon Jovi. She loved it. Yeah. Oh, are you a fan of Bon Jovi? I am, yeah. Oh, that's awkward. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a very awkward. And uh, what was what was the weather like? Um, it wasn't actually that bad. There was a couple of showers again, but it wasn't that heavy. It was actually it was a really good day. It was fantastic. Oh, well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. That's brilliant. Thank you very much. All right, well done. Thank you. Y yachts are posh. I mean, they really are. Do you like Bon Jovi yourself? Uh, so, yachts are posh. Are you a fan of Bon Jovi yourself? <laughs> How do I, how will I put this, yeah? No, if you're not a fan, I'm not a fan of me. How do, how do I put, there was uh, tickets left over here on Friday, yeah? Yeah. I didn't take them. I, I did. What'd you do with them? Gave them somebody else you don't like? <laughs> you're a bad man. FM 104, hello. Hi, how's it going? How are you? Good, thanks. Now, what's, what's your name? Sarah. How, how are you, Sarah? Now, how are you? what posh? Uh, posh will go to uh, private maternity wards, but they don't go public. Oh no, they don't, yeah, they have their own little room. And oh, their own that's little... very posh. That's not very really. Posh. That is. It is, it is. It is, like, it is. If, there, if there's no room in the in the public, you get stuck into, into a, you know, separate, so no room, and I got stuck into them, and it's very posh. So hang on, you, you gave birth? Yeah. In a, in a... I give, no, I didn't give birth in it, but I got put into it afterwards. In a, like, yeah, I'm round like... In a, in a private ward? No, you're in a private ward anyways when you give birth. Oh, are you? I didn't know you were. Round. Yeah, you're not stuck here with all the young ones giving birth. You're hardly there with all the nation watching you giving birth. Oh, with their legs yeah. spread eagle. <laughs> no, 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 that's not how it works. Sorry, Sarah, I've never been to a birth of a child, well, so I don't know what goes on. Get your act together, go to one. <laughs> it's to be recommended. It's on TV. I know, I, I, I watched and it on you. Put in, like, you put that one down around room and you have like big flat screen TV and all that. Really? Yeah. Yeah, that's posh. So I have to be honest with you, Sarah. About a year ago, um, uh, curiosity got the better of me, and I looked up uh, a video of uh, giving birth on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't well for about a month. You I didn't give birth like that's totally grand. Go, I didn't even watch that. Go do it. Go do it in real life. I have to Jeremy. say, Sarah, much respect. You can't do them in real life, so you're all right there, Adrian. Much respect to you, Sarah, and any woman that gives birth, because how the head comes out of that part. Uh, it's, it's okay. Just, moving on. No, but how does it happen? It, uh, nature. Like, but why was the body designed in that in way? Nature. I don't know. I don't know. No, <laughs> go see it in reality and then talk to me. I did see it in reality on no, YouTube. No, no, it's not the same thing as standing. It is the same thing. It's not the same thing as standing there. I couldn't sleep for a month with that vision of the head. Well, uh, on. imagine that in real life. I saw it in yeah, real life. No, it's not the same thing. Yes, FM 104, is. hello. Hey, how are you? Have you, <laughs> ever, have you ever given birth? Have I? Yeah. Three times. Then you don't know what you're talking about. Get off the line. <laughs> now, well, what's your name, kid? Hello? Sorry? What's your name, kid? What's my name, Jed? What's your name, kid? I'm not a kid. He's not a kid. What are you calling really? a kid? Yeah. Anyway, go on to uh, things that, that are posh. You know what pisses me off? When people think they're posh and they're not. Like who? Oh, pseudo-posh people. Like people that you know all your life and that came from the same background as you and they, you see them then in a few years and they're talking, they're talking fucking gibberish, like, they're talking weird. Oh, absolutely, make, making up bullshit and all that. Like, total amazeballs, all this shit, like, you know, like, where the fuck are you from? Like, you, you're from the same area as I am and, and, you know what I mean? I can't understand that. I've never got my head around that, lads. Uh, John, or anybody that says amazeballs, I just don't want to no, know. No, seriously. No, no, I don't mean it like that. But no, like, if no. you're 12, you can say amazeballs. That's okay. If you're any way over 12, no. Amazeballs is a saps thing to say. But they put a posh accent on and you're like, 
Where did you get that from? Yeah, we, when, when, when I was growing up, we, uh, we had a family in our area, and uh, they moved, and they moved to a posh estate, yeah? And yeah. within a year or two, they were all talking awfully, awfully. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm with you. Pseudo-posh people is what we call them. Thanks, John. Um, 6797. We'll take another couple of calls on this. We're talking about things that are posh, that posh people have or posh people do. Okay, here's the list so far. They wear cravats. They uh, have fountain pens. They have swimming pools. They own chihuahuas. They have afternoon tea. Yeah, the chihuahua thing isn't posh. Oh, it is posh, yeah. Uh, they wear dubs. They go fox hunting. They uh, do fencing, bowls, polo, and have a yacht. That's all very posh. Um, we'll squeeze in another very quick couple of calls. Can you do okay? me a favour before yeah. you answer the phone? Yeah, go on. Will you stop saying, what's your name, kid? No, I just feel like saying it. But it's a stupid thing to say but on the radio. But is it annoying you? It's a stupid thing to say on the radio. But is it annoying you? Yeah. OK, well, then I keep saying it. Uh, FM 104, hello? Hello? Uh, hello, Adrian. How are you? What's your name, kid? Alan. How are you, Alan? Now, Alan, things that posh people have or posh people do. Adrian. Oh, turn down the radio good there. Look, good luck with this one, Adrian. Good <laughs> luck with this one. Things that posh people say or posh people do. This is when they're, when they're out for a walk. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go turn it down now. Hang on, just pull, go, just, just, oh, no, seriously, hang up, hang up, Adrian. Can't, I can't deal with this. Seriously, the medication I'm on at the moment is just... Yes, have you got your radio turned down? I uh have, -huh, yeah. Okay. Things that posh people have or posh people do. Adrian, when they're out for a walk, they, yeah. wear, this, they wear the jumper or the sweater around, around the chest, around the back. They just throw it. Oh, around their shoulders. Around the shoulders. Oh, yeah. yeah. Seriously, lads, what is that? Jeremy, do yeah. you ever wear your jumper like that? No. I Tighten don't a little knot around no, the front here? No, I don't here. wear jumpers, no. What? I don't wear jumpers. Oh, your mother obviously isn't around lately, is she not? Why? She always tells you to put your jumper on, Jeremy. No, I wear jackets or shirts, that's all. Um, so, yeah. Oh, yeah, wearing your jumper around uh, your shoulders like that is, is firstly posh and then wanker after that. Kind of. Posh wanker. Yeah, That's exactly. Uh, okay, we'll take one or two more. 67971104 is our telephone number. FM 104, hello. Hello, Adrian. How are you? What's your name, kid? Uh, my name is Tomas. Tomas? How are you, Tomas? Hi, I'm not too bad. Well, that's uh, kind of... Uh, Tomas, I have to say, that's kind of posh. Well, no, I'm not too posh now, to be honest. Uh, can I just say, first of all... Yeah, by the way, Thomas, can I just say... Can Tomas, I, Tomas. Can I say something to you, Tomas? You can indeed. Go ahead. First of all, turn off the racket in the background. There's awful noise there. Sorry, that's my radio. I, mom, mommy, mommy, can you turn off the radio? Turn off the radio, please, mommy. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Shut up. Mommy, shut up. Now, uh, what were you saying? Yes, I was going to say, I wouldn't consider it posh, by the way. It's privileged. Oh, you old privilege. There's a difference, and I think you are quite a privileged man yourself now, Adrian. As about Jeremy, you are working on a, on a very good radio station. You will be on good privilege pay yourself, so I would consider you quite posh. I'm, I'm on a handsome salary. I don't like to brag about it, but I'm on a handsome <laughs> salary. Who brags about their salary? I'm not bragging about it, so I'm just saying I'm on a handsome no, salary. You know, I, I, I myself, I would agree that my daddy is on a handsome salary as well, you know. Uh, and w w w does your daddy work for a company? Uh, yes, you know uh, HSBC? Oh, HSBC Bank. Yes, the big bank. Now, he works over in America, but we see him every weekend, so it's quite nice. Lovely, lovely. And uh, where do you live in, in, in Dublin? I live in um, Malahide in Abington. Oh, uh, Abington, no. Oh. <laughs> you know the people, that, the people that live in Abington, yeah? Well, no. Well, now, hang on, they're such big wankers that they have to put gates in the front of their houses. Yeah, they do, yeah. yeah. What's yeah, say that about my, my residence. I oh, know, Abington, really? Abington equals wankers. Oh, really? really? Really, no? North side of Dublin, scumbag. And by the way, I would not consider Malahide north side of Dublin. Well, it is north side of Dublin now. It's the south side of the north side, Adrian. Let's be honest. Can I just say to you, Tom, oh, Tomas? The south side. Can I just say something to you, Tomas, before you go? I'm not going, Adrian. Yeah. I know, OK. Well, hang on. Shut up. You're giving me a headache. I'm not going to stand for this. Can I just say something to you, Tomas? Oh, Jesus. By the way, that accent's more put on than your sexuality, Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> what sort of a statement is that? I'm just saying, that accent is about as fake as your sexuality. Meaning what? We, we all know. We all know what? We all know. The dogs on the street talk about it. It's, everybody knows. Knows what? You're the last person to admit it. <laughs> everybody knows. Come on. Take a note of that, yeah. Okay, go on. People would just they'd respect you more if you just came out. They'd Get on with it. That's what I'm saying. They'd respect you more. Is he still there, by the no, way? No, he's gone, he's gone, he's Thanks gone. Okay, one last call on this. Things that posh people have or posh people do. FM 104, hello. 
Hi, uh, this is Anne here in Carrick Mines. How are you, Anne, in Carrick Mines? Not too bad. I love Good. your show. Thank you very By much, way, Anne. Can I just say, Mines? Anne, before the people of Abington and Malahide decide to sue me, um, I'm not suggesting that every resident there is a wanker, but they would have their fair share of wankers, sir, <laughs> wouldn't they? <laughs> yeah, okay. Anyway, Anne, things the posh people have or posh people do. Yes, they travel first class. They do. I mean, why did nobody mention that? And then when they get to the, the airport, they get uh, collected by a limousine. Yes. <laughs> they did. That's very, very posh. Uh, anybody could do that. I did that when I went to New York. Really? Ah, well, well, uh, yeah, but in New York, <laughs> in New York, it's uh, it's more common than here. You see somebody being collected by a limo in Dublin Airport, you say, posh out. Yeah. They are posh. But no, first class. But now, who's going to pay ten grand um, to fly across the Atlantic when you can do it for one? Well, you know. Some people have so much money, they just don't know what to do with it. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I agree with you. First class is posh. But then, but then, um, on the opposite uh, of that, you know these people who, when they're having uh, parties and they hire uh, pink limousines and all that, that's the complete opposite it of It is, yes, it is. It Seriously, is. if you that's think... skank city. That is skank. If you think that you're, you're posh by hiring a limousine for a girl's night out, no, skank. Yeah. Honestly. Would you agree with me, darling? I would, yes. They're, they're called, um, how he is. How are you? That's how what are they're called. You? Yeah. Or in posh language, how are you? Yeah. Honestly, girls, though, seriously, you know, pulling up outside Club M on a Saturday night or whatever nightclub in Temple Bar in a pink limousine. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, Lady Muck. Did you agree? <laughs> Th thanks very much, darling. Lord and Lady Muck. Bye bye. Well, you know what else annoys me about Temple Bar? Yeah, what? All those young ones going around with t shirts with their names on the back of them. We don't need to know your name. Why do they do that? You know these hen nights? Yeah, they want to. And you have 20 hens yeah. in the group, and they're all wearing T-shirts with their names, Shaz. They're always called Shaz. <laughs> why, do, why do they have their names in the back know. of their T-shirts? Go, go and ask them. I'll tell you why. Why? They're when they're bent over the bed lady, your man can remember her name. <sighs> Stop it. That's the reason. <sighs> That's the reason. Okay, here's, uh, here's uh, the list. It's not a definitive list by any means. Uh, things that make people... Oh, sorry, does he live there? Yeah, he does, yeah. Yeah, awkward.com. Really? Yeah, he does. When uh, did he move out there? Years ago. But he's not posh. I know. He lives in Abington. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. Yeah. But sure, he's from... Yeah. Down there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay, here... Uh, and your other, the other fellow lives in Abington as well. Yeah, he? yeah, your man, yeah. Him? And, yeah. He's not posh. Oh, no, well, not anymore, I don't think. Oh, no, probably not. No. Oh, no, probably. That's come to an end, yeah. yeah. Okay, here are some posh things. Cravats. Fountain pens, swimming pools, having a chihuahua, having afternoon tea, doobs, fox hunting, fencing, bowls, polo, yachts, and travelling first class. They're all things that are posh. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, a little bit later on, not yet, and don't call until I tell you, I'm going to be looking for the answer to the question that Jim Jim and Nobby gave out uh, this morning. We here on uh, the phone show and the Strawberry Alarm Clock have teamed up with Joyville, the magic place where Cadbury Dairy Milk Chocolate is made, and to celebrate their nationwide hunt for Ireland's most devoted Cadbury chocolate lovers, we're giving uh, eight lucky winners a yum job as a Joyville taster. Check out Facebook and uh, Cadbury Ireland. But anyway, we've teamed up to give you the chance to win a seven-night break at the five-star Coco Palm Resort in St. Lucia. Do you know where St. Lucia is? It's posh. It's in Cabra. No, it's not in no, Cabra. No, 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 no. We're going to send uh, one lucky listener, well, plus a friend, uh, to St. Lucia. Do you know where St. Lucia is? The Caribbean. It is. Or the Indian Ocean. Is it mm, one of those places? It's, it's posh anyway. I, I know that much. Um, return flights from Dublin to uh, St. Lucia. You and a friend will enjoy a seven-night break at the five-star Coco Palm Resort in St. Lucia. Now, this morning, the lads on the strawberry gave out a uh, question. In a while, not yet, don't ring yet, in a while, I'll be asking you for the answer. When I do, okay, when I do, uh, you uh, will be calling us with the answers to that question. And then we'll give you a question that uh, you have to give the lads tomorrow morning the answer to. Okay? Anyway, it's coming up in a while. We're taking a break. Back in a second. FM 104's Get It Off Your Chest. With Adrian and Jeremy.